At the back, David has moved onto the steps that Charlie wants inlaid into the gradient. Charlie wants that really organic, that kind of higgledy-piggledy feeling. So we've got them different lengths, different um, heights. So we're just going to scatter them up so then Alex can just run up there, have a little bit of fun with his little legs. Each sleeper is laid and levelled and then fixed securely in place with a couple of pegs. And then we're going to screw them in from the back. So you won't see them, it'll be really seamless, um, but it'll be really sturdy. All right, where's this one going, Dave? Right in here, Dave? Yes, yeah, just about that angle there. The steps obviously make a slope much more functional, but they also do something to the mine as well. They kind of make it more accessible. So when you have a slope, it looks quite daunting, especially from the bottom. So what the steps do is they break that up uh, and they create that journey. With the racetrack complete, Andy and Jason use rounded posts driven into the ground to form a barrier to stop Alex flying off down the slope. The next part of Charlie's design for the play area is a hazel tunnel for Alex to explore. So it's not only a lovely tunnel for Alex, but also it's a great climbing frame for fruit bushes. The hazel sticks are tied together at the top like a wigwam to make a sturdy structure. But Charlie wants it to be lined with edible treats as well. What have you got with you there, Dave? Oh, I've got me some good-looking tayberries. What have you got? I've got some thornless blackberries. Oh, nice. They're Loch, cool. Loch Ness. Where are you going to plant them? Um, one over here, three, and one over here. That's between nice. the gaps. These guys are going to need some support when growing. They can grow up to eight to ten feet tall, so that's where these come in as really important. And over time, they'll kind of weave them wet their way through this kind of wigwam and uh, create a lovely little foraging tunnel for Alex when he travels through. Autumn's a great time to plant your trees and your fruit shrubs because they're not putting as much energy into their growing, but they're putting it into their root system. So this is really going to establish them really nicely for spring. And also, when the soil's warmer and moist like it is now, it's perfect growing conditions for them. The team are on the home straight now, but there's a big piece of Charlie's design that's missing. The playhouse. And there's only one way to get it in the garden. <laughs> So would it have been a better idea to actually build it in here? I don't know. I, 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 the, 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 fun know. Of, the fun of getting it in, oh, definitely outweigh yeah, building okay, it here. Yeah, yeah, it was way more fun. <laughs> was it? I think it should be on a, on don't an you? On an angle? A fork angle. Fork angle. And if we can go back a little bit, just about that, and then we need to level it up a bit. <laughs> Cullen, everybody out, back to work. We've got garden Don't finish. Wait, Slide's got to go in. Planning's got to be done. <laughs> <laughs>